lovely people of the internet, I'm the Breathing Canvas and today I'm going to show you my Athena look. Let's look at that sketch. I am incorporating um, her symbol of an owl and the Athen Athenian -na 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 helmet because an owl's massage, it's like I'm saying massage, but it's visage, it's massage for your face. I don't know what I'm saying. The owl face and the helmet really go well together. You can see a lot of overlay there. Big eyes with silver, we have a little bit of the beak as well as like, I guess the nose guard of the helmet. And I'm carrying that on that beak design onto the lip to suggest feathers. We have the squiggles and curves on here. Also follows along with the kind of styles you would see in Athens, Greece. We have the big feathers up here. I'm actually gonna use that with some real feathers that I have here. Oh, they're so soft and pretty. And they match my nails. Oh my gosh, do you see that? Do you see that? That's enough talking, let's get started. Oh, my throat. Shimmery silver powder. Some gold goodness on the edges. Then I'm gonna go over with some aged copper bronzy. Oh yeah. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is work on that cheek area. I'm just gonna draw those little swirls under the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead and do the tip of my nose here, kind of where those dimples on the side of your noses are. And you're gonna swoop it in, kind of follow the curve of the end of your nostril here. Narrowing it in, so like on the top-ish area of your nose, make a UV. Not a UV light, just a U or a V, but I decided to say V. Then I'm gonna fill it in. It looks like this Batman on my nose. Batman, I found you! So you have all of your squiggles. And if you're like me, you have your palette of chocolate. Yep, I just took some Snickers, some Mars bars, and everything. Melt them down so I could get all the colors I wanted. Caramel and chocolate, huh? What we've all been waiting for. But first, I'm gonna set this in with some shimmery bronzy powder. That's the stuff. I'm gonna take my feathers that I got from a craft store. And you want them, well, I have mine at about maybe three quarters to an inch length. You don't want them too long because it's just a lot of feather to build up as you keep overlaying each other. Also, you don't want them too short because as you put other feathers on top of each other, you do wanna have that good that allowance so you have something behind so there's not all these white spaces and you have to fill it in with more feathers. And I'm gonna be applying these. You could do it with my I love spirit gum, but today I'm gonna try it with some eyelash glue. Press it down firmly just a moment in place with maybe like the edge of your non-branded tweezers or an end of a paintbrush or something so that the glue doesn't stick to your finger and don't have little feathers everywhere. Now one thing you may encounter with your feathers is that some of them are gonna be a bit more curved like this one, but you need to keep that length. What you can do is just bend it and just put a little bit of like a dent in that center there. It won't break, but it will help just straighten out a little bit. Yeah, this is why you want to use tweezers or something to press it to your face. I'm a bird! Tweet tweet! I mean, woof! I mean, whoo! Imagine a bird just, just perched there. Woof! Feather brush my nose, nose is itchy. Escaping this feather, you will be one with my face. You and I will be one. Crossing the eyes helps. This is starting to become problematic. And now you're ready to fly! 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 Now the only thing left to do are the lips. So you're just gonna take more of your gold paint or makeup, whatever you got. We're gonna trace around, kind of do like a lip liner on the upper, and then just transition it in the middle, kind of make a little curve triangle, and then continue it down to the lower lip. So it's almost down to a point. I'm gonna do a few little dots of gold around, because it's fun. I would've preferred gold rhinestones, but I don't have that. But if you do put them on, girl, you put them on. And that is my Athena design. Thank you so much for watching. I really hoped you liked this video. If you did, please click on that thumbs up button down below, and I will see all of you lovelies next time. Bye.